So hello, my name's uh, Rupert Call. I'm an infectious disease doctor at the University of Toronto, and I spend most of my time doing HIV research. Uh, we are currently doing a clinical trial of a probiotic called VSL3 uh, that people will be starting at the same time that they start their antiretroviral therapy for their HIV infection. So we've seen over the last few years in a number of studies that men who have HIV who aren't yet on treatment have quite a lot of damage to the gut lining and that damage is associated with inflammation uh, that's apparent in the bloodstream and also if you look is apparent in the gut lining and leads to leaking of bacteria from the gut into the bloodstream. And that actually is felt to be one of the causes of progressive immunodeficiency and, and AIDS. Uh, that does reverse after men start on antiretroviral therapy, but it takes quite a long time for that to happen. Uh, and studies that we've done show that even after a year, uh, there is very significant ongoing leaking of those bacteria into the bloodstream and significant increased uh, immune activation. And it takes up to eight to 10 years for that to come back down to normal. Because there are some very key immune cells in the gut uh, that are very dependent on the types of bacteria that are around them, called Th17 cells, uh, and those cells are very important in controlling that leaking of bacteria across the, the gut wall. We think that by starting people on probiotics, uh, that is uh, uh, healthy bacteria in a pill or powder form, at the same time that they start their antiretroviral therapy, we may be able to accelerate the, uh, the restoration of gut immunology and reduce inflammation uh, faster in the bloodstream. And we think that in the end, that is going to uh, correlate with reduced uh, adverse out outcomes like uh, heart attacks and uh, uh, other uh, adverse health events that are caused by inflammation. For me, the importance of this study, it, it was a very nice coincidence actually. So uh, we had been doing some work funded in, in Ontario by the uh, OHTN, the Ontario uh, HIV Treatment Network, and uh, that had been looking at gut immune health in the context of HIV. The OHTN then actually did a community consultation around the time that we were finishing up those studies and asked the uh, population of men who have sex with men and people infected by HIV what were some of their uh, research priorities. And uh, the, the testing of uh, uh, natural products and the testing of probiotics were felt to be one of the things that they were very interested in seeing further research uh, done in. And as a result, we thought that it was a very logical thing for us to roll our previous uh, immunology research into a clinical trial that actually looked at whether uh, probiotics would be able to directly affect the things that we had seen were dysregulated in, the, in, in people who had HIV. So it was a very nice uh, uh, synergy between, I think, what the community was interested in, uh, in, in testing and what we had the skills to test. So that's really how we got interested in this trial.